want you to talk about Exeter in general because right. it's now well known for its traffic problems. It which has. Which spread. And you, you, over, you over speak the, to an experienced person here of uh, trying to get around the traffic. Yeah, because I think it's basically a county town. It exists in Devon. It's not a big city. It's not like Bristol or Manchester in any way. So a lot of the um, the talk we're going to have during the lost weekend about the techie cultural future is is good. You know, mm. I'm, I'm sure we should have it, but a lot of the comparisons might not be that valid. I don't know. What do you what do you think? Because the, they do say the travel to work ex, uh, the travel to work uh, profile of Exeter. Well, you've come, you've come from Totnes to yes. Tottenham, more or less Totnes. Yes, I was about a few miles, about six miles away from Totnes. Yeah. Well, I, so, I, if, if, so that would make it quite a big city if that was all full of housing, but it isn't, is it? Well, to me, it's a bit, <laughs> big place of noise, really, <laughs> being out in the countryside all the time. No, but it is. You just have to go work around the problem. Um, Countess um, Exeter has got three or four exits or entrances onto it. You can get from all sides if you want to, but people choose the same side all the time. <laughs> so therefore, that's why you get all the queues, oh. and that's why they try. They try to get counters weird because a lot of people come from the maybe the A38. Off that yeah, side, yeah, they there are a lot of entrances, exits off the A38. At least three, I yeah. know, maybe four. Well, don't, but, don't tell anybody. Jeff, no, no one tell. Don't tell anybody with the way that you go. No, no. Because you may find it clogs up. That's right. No, I'm not telling you that. That's top secret. <laughs> you have to shoot me to find out. <laughs> no, okay, uh, no I've, I've worked out the back routes since I've been coming up to Exeter for years now mm -hmm. and that's that's the only way to do it is to take a little bit of more time but you are moving is to avoid avoid the main streets that's my, my okay well that's yeah. a clue that's a clue avoid the traffic lights okay but um do, do you do you think Exeter's got uh, enough energy for the kind of issues they're trying to raise in uh, the Lost Weekend, as far as you understand it, what what have you what have you discovered about the, the Lost Weekend and what it's trying to do? Um, well, it's it's you you roped around to a place called City Futures. Yeah, there's that is, as well. They're going to be they're yes. going to be they've they've got an open house right. dur during it. Well, so this, a lot of their ideas will fit in. Well, I found I, I did find the Lost Weekend challenge on their website, and of course I've got the pamphlet. Right. <laughs> In front of me. But yes. um, it is quite a lot of stuff happening. But what is this? What is going to be the end product? That's what I would like to know. The whole, the whole thing, is it just a, an entertainment package deal? Or is it actually going to produce something like more, shall we say, bands coming to the area? Or Well, I, don't, I, I, I just don't know. I just think there's an implication in it. Because there's technology, um, right. the, TED, the TEDx Exeter people are having a meeting which appears to be very very techy, about artificial intelligence, things like that. Uh, lifelong learning comes into that. Mm -hmm. I'm not quite sure how, but presumably, um, if you've got a combination of technology and music or other forms of art or entertainment, I mean, I'm quite happy to use the word entertainment because TED... TED is technology, entertainment, and design. Oh, I wonder what that was spelt for. Yeah, I thought that was the teddy bear, which <laughs> I used to have. No. I used to call it TED. Um, <laughs> no, yeah. but that's good. I, I didn't understand what that was said. This is what people need to explain what, well, it, yes. what it means yes. and what's it, what's behind it. Yeah. And I've now seen a TEDx um, Exeter technology salon. Yes. No. Uh, so the, so, so the, do you get so get pampered? <laughs> no. Well, <laughs> I don't get, know. Well, you get pampered in sound, don't you? Um, in technology, you, you do. Mm. You do. Well, there's the main one, which is the Barnfield Theatre, mm -hmm. which I think is completely sold out. Uh, but then it's being streamed. Mm. It's being streamed to the museum, the Ram next door to us, and also here at the Phoenix. And you may you may be able to get a ticket for those two. But it'll probably be on video in. Mm, I don't know, a couple of months, something like that. I, do, I don't think, in other words, I do, as far as the ideas are, are concerned, I think we just sort of see, see it as uh, an inspiration and we, we probably have to talk about it for a few months and uh, it'll all sink in gradually. Mm. 
but I, 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 I think we, it'll just connect Exeter with a broader network. Let's put it like that. So it's connecting Exeter to the technology world. Yes. In a big way, because of because of maybe the universities or the college um, or the. Well, we were talking about this yesterday, weren't we? Well, it's very interesting. Where, where, where it comes from? I don't mm. know. I think um, I, I haven't got much impression of the university being directly involved. Um, but it will be. But in they a probably will be. Yeah, in a roundabout way. Well, they're just arriving, mm. aren't they? I think the mm. timing of it is probably the students are arriving this weekend or next weekend or sometime soon. Mm -hmm. But whether they've um, found their... Because it'll be a different lot of them, in, mm -hmm. to a certain extent. Mm -hmm. But I'm sure they'll notice what's going on, and there'll be some aspect of it. Uh, perhaps we can find out in different ways how that, how that works. Mm -hmm. But uh, I think the Met Office are very involved in it, because they, they're obviously very techy. They've mm -hmm. got um, an enormous computer. They've got a specialised building to put it in. And uh, they have graphics as well. They do a lot of a lot of thought about how to present their data, mm -hmm. and that relates to a lot of other things that are going on. I think that the Exeter City Futures people seem to be interested in um, traffic and energy. Right. Yes, I think I think that's that's what when I was looking at their website, that's what I felt they were into how well that's what we have to look at don't you really if you want people to come on to these festivals and these um you know whatever you know lost weekend festival call them festivals then you need you need access to it so that's part of the whole package deal because they, they, you can yes. if two thousand cars land in the middle of <laughs> exeter and you haven't got car parking for them you know what's the point you know so you've got to you've got to make sure that the venue they have has got car parking <laughs> or bus. Um, yes, yeah, so or bus. I think yeah. bus. I think bus is much more likely. Yeah. So if it, if it is an out, yeah, that's right. A bus, a bus in, especially for it, that's fine. But um, you know, that's a lot of people are going to have to make their own way to it. So they might be reluctant to do. Yeah, but there is there is a lot of music going on. Mm -hmm. So there's a there's a, a single ticket which I think is twenty five pounds, but it gets you into all kinds of different things going on the same evening. Mm -hmm. And also, Phonic is going to be doing um, a, a couple of workshops about radio production. Shall we just mention that? Well, have you got the details of it? Friday the sixth of October. Yeah. In the Phoenix, of course. In the Phoenix. This, yep, this, this is where we are. Uh, from eleven till five. Is only three pounds. That's good value. Yes. Because wow. some, some very, some very, um, <laughs> very senior phonic producers. Oh, are they? They're oh, going right. to be there. Okay. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> okay, bus. <laughs> and they're going to, um, they're going to explain everything. Well, it's just the experience of actually how we, as um, well, we call ourselves announcers, DJs, or whatever. Yes. yes. Actually, put well, a show we, together. We, start, we started to call you the producer, JD, haven't we? Yes. When, when we saw that Phonic has yeah, got producer, producers, well, producer. we decided you were probably the producer. Yeah, well, how, well how just generally how a program is put together, because that's quite interesting, really. And well, well, this, it, this and, one... And there will be an actual one. Be, oh, sorry, mm. there will be an actual program on the Sunday. Oh, will they? So oh, the right. people have been... I think there's another workshop on... What's the timing on the Saturday? Have you got the detail of that? Uh, this is a Friday. Yeah, but there's uh, another one. Is that right? Hang on. I'll go back to the other okay, one. Yeah. Right. I was looking at something else. It's very in between. confusing. It's very easy to get lost in this weekend. <laughs> I'm right. lost anyway. Well, yes. But I think there's another one on the Saturday. Well, they say that it's, um, it's uh, on the f only on radio production. Radio yeah, production. Is there, is, there, is there another one? I haven't read this bit, unfortunately, oh, well, so I'll come back anyway, to it. Anyway, I'm pretty sure. We'll get mm. the details. We'll put the details on the, on the Wild Show Facebook page. No, oh, yes, here it is. Oh, oh, I found it, yes. Yeah. It's um, from 11 to 5 on oh. Saturday, the 7th of October. And is that um, another three quid? That's another three quid. It, so if you want to go buy for them... So that's the that's, that's price of two coffees. Well, yes. Bargain. It's not It's not that, is it? Well, I don't know if they're both booked up or no, if you would, could no. get into both of them. No, that's what we need to know. Yes, you, well, you, and got, you go to the Phonic website, I should, I should think. Yeah, I got the I got their phonic thing here. Okay. The lost weekend. Well, our listeners know that they're, they're totally yes. plugged into the phonic website. Yeah, is that that's on the website as well? So how to get there? And then Good. on the Sunday, mm -hmm. I think there's a special show which will include uh, bits of outside broadcast or recordings from uh, the workshops or during the week or whatever else turns up. Right, I haven't read that one. Um, Lost well, sessions? No. 
Lost Sessions. Yeah, Lost Sessions. That might that's be that, yes, it's, That's at the cabin. Oh, that's at the cabin? Yes. And oh. that's at 7pm when that's £8. No, it's less that we're talking at cross purposes, Jodie. I think I'm going to play some music while we... Um, we find that while one. While we find the details of it all. Well, I, do, I think the audience can find it. I'm pretty sure it's on Sunday. There's, the, there's a special phonic show. But we can mention it later or all next week. I'm sure it'll be mentioned. But what, mm. I, what, I, what I'd like to say about it is that um, there can be video as well. So if bits of video turn up during the week or over the weekend mm. and um, you tweet a link to it and put Lost Weekend as a tag and to Phonic FM as, a, as an addressy bit. On well, another, another show, I'll go into what I found out about Twitter. Well, well, I'll play a record and then we'll, mm. get, uh, we'll get onto Twitter. Yeah. How about that? Yeah. Because, um, JD, the, th- the trouble is, it's turned out exactly as I, pre- as I predicted. Really? That if you were in your producer mode... No, no, no th- now this, is, this would've, is pretty good we because... We've broken it down <laughs> into two five-minute chunks. Should we charge but people... Since, for- since you're involved in the conversation, it's, it's stretched out to ten minutes in one go, which is totally contrary mm. to our formal policy of playing music every five minutes. Well, if we can charge people three pounds to come and see how a show's done, can we? <laughs> Well, they're probably going to tell. They're probably going to tell them how to how to how to make sure that the conversation is limited to five minutes at a time. Yeah. But sometimes it's worth it, isn't it? I think mm. sometimes the conversation just flows. It just flows. It we just, just flows. go with the flow, which is what which is what yeah. we're going to do. Okay. This is this is another one by a buddy guy. <laughs> 